G'day folks. Well, it's not looking good for this VFD. I've spent way too much time on it. And, uh, well, these IGBTs could probably be replaced. They're sad. Half of them were sad. But, unfortunately, also the bridge rectifiers are blown. I thought I'd, I'd eliminated the short, but I'd only eliminated the short on one of the phases. Uh, even with them all removed, I found out these bridge rectifiers are completely blown. So something horrible has happened to this drive. Uh, I believe that drive chip or whatever it is is blown as well. That sustained major current transfer and possible other damage. And in the process of removing them I've also destroyed that little SMD capacitor. And yeah, if I try and remove the bridge rectifier I'm also going to lose that tiny little SMD which sort of looks like a resistor or something. Uh, yeah, it's going to get nasty if I try and go any further with this and it's really not worth it. Not when a decent Delta brand VFD made in Taiwan is actually a couple of hundred dollars. I can buy them through my work for like two to three hundred dollars each. Which is probably something I should have done to start with. I haven't ordered any parts for this but I was going to probably end up blowing about a hundred dollars just on parts and no guarantee that this would ever work properly again so unfortunately these things are about as disposable as a plasma television once the inverter in those things go well unless you've got a good second hand one on the shelf or something like that you're better off just trashing it so I'll pillage what parts I can off it in this case it'll just be the big caps uh, the rest of that it's got some nice big MOVs on it but again I tried running it a couple of times I had remote wired main board and everything but nah She's dead, Jim. It's worse than that. It's dead, Jim. <laughs> old Star Trek. Nice little fan on it, though. Keep the fan. What's that one there? 24 volt DC, 0.25 amp. Uh, Maniba Matsushita. Okay. Got the uh, control, everything like that's still okay. I'd well, I'd assume so. <laughs> It might also be dead. Uh, Texas Instruments DSP chip 320F2811PBKA. Well, that bug ain't going home to his family. <laughs> Warm weather brings out the insects. Um, yeah. Neat little control panel. It's a shame. It's a nicely built VFD, but it's just cheap componentry. And just the way they made it, they made it so that only the most highly equipped workshop could uh, actually service it reliably. I mean, I've broken traces in the process of getting this stuff apart. I've pulled traces off board. I've pulled S or removed SMDs unintentionally. It's nasty, yeah. <laughs> I'm not set up for this. I am not prepared. God, Warcraft references. Burning Crusade reference. You are not prepared. Well, that was the end of that one. I'll keep the heat sinks, the caps, and that's about it. Maybe these M MOVs and things, but apart from that, it's dead, Jim. Thanks for watching.